thank you for this pleasure to conclude our Jean Monnet project uh, here at the Thessaloniki Symposium. Uh, I will present the impact of the refugee crisis on Serbia's European perspective in the context of institutional and normative uh, harmonization of migration and asylum policies. Also, the EU has placed migration policy at the center of the relations um, with the aspiring member states. The Western Balkan countries, including Serbia, have adopted the system to the experience of a rapid influx of refugees during 2015. I point out that the new legal framework on asylum and tempor uh, temporary protection promotes the status of migrants, refugees and asylum seekers who found themselves in the territory of Serbia, but that there are objective reasons for the limited uh, capacity of their integration into Serbian society. Uh, the migrant crisis posed a major challenge for both. Uh, the the developed uh, countries of the European Union as the desired destinations and the countries of the Balkans as transit stations. However, with the closure of the Balkan route and the EU-Turkey agreement reached in 2016, the context of migration has changed. After more than 700,000 uh, refugees and migrants traversed uh, its territory during 2000. 15, Serbia has faced a um, temporary and auxiliary change to a host country role for people forced to leave um, their places of residence. Although there are relatively few people who have expressed um, their intention to seek asylum, uh, or have formally filled an asylum application, it is noticeable that there have been significant changes in the uh, legislative area that have facilitated procedures from initial records to institutional asylum uh, certification. Therefore, the basic question uh, I begin with uh, is um, how has Serbia adapted its institutional and normative framework in order to adapt asylum policy to European standards and to facilitate the integration of accepted um, migrants? Um, seeking to make progress uh, in the European integration process, the authorities in Serbia seize the opportunity to prove uh, themselves as a constructive partner, um, offering to take a share in the burden uh, sharing and at the same time during and after the rapid influx of migrants, fundamental reforms have been implemented in order to achieve legislative standards of care, uh, regulating their status and providing conditions for the integration of asylum seekers. The new legislative framework is the outcome of the harmonization of Serbian legislation with the Aki Comunitaire, uh, but also of overcoming the problems and deficiencies that have arisen during the migrant crisis due to insufficiently uh, precise and incomplete uh, legal, legal solutions. Also, changes to the old laws and the adoption of new ones provide for a more efficient and simplified asylum procedure and brand new institutions and solutions. Uh, there are still uh, aggravating circumstances of integration due to institutional uh, indifference, limited uh, infrastructure capacities, and the overall economic situation. Uh, in the country. Uh, particularly aggravating uh, circumstance uh, is the significant number of re refugees and displayed, uh, displaced persons resulting from the breakup of Yugoslavia during um, the 90s. Besides the normative framework, I will point out the connection between EU um, integration of Serbia and asylum policy, the views of uh, civil society rep representatives on the impact of uh, migrant uh, flows on Serbia's negotiation position uh, with Brussels and Serbia's capacities um, for, for the, the integration of asylum seekers. So. Um, um, 
Serbia's determination to join the European Union uh, has defined the long-standing process of aligning domestic legislation with European standards uh, and standards in the field of migration and asylum. And the first Asylum Act, uh, which was largely aligned with the European law, was adopted uh, in 2007 as a part of the visa liberalization roadmap uh, following the signing of the Stabilization and Association. Uh, agreement. Uh, so the European Union has insisted on harmonizing regulations ever since the opening of the membership perspective. It pursued a policy of conditionality on topics of particular uh, concern to the Union and in the field of migration. Um, he designed a strategy uh, where the reinforcement of the region's migration um, management capacity is indissociable uh, from regional cooperation, migrant and refugee rights, and the clear path towards uh, EU accession. Um, also, in the course of membership negotiations uh, with Brussels, Serbia opened uh, Chapter 24, uh, Freedom, Justice and Security in 2016, and undertook the further align with the EU law uh, in the action plan, as well as to reform migration and asylum policies. The text of the adopted document clearly states that uh, chapter 24 of the action plan will take priority over existing strategies and action plan in the relevant areas covered by chapter 24. If necessary, they will be modified to align with the obligations uh, of this action plan. Uh, based on the recommendations in the action plan and the direct experience of regulating the large influx of migrants into the country in 2018 after a length the discussion on the draft involving the representatives of civil society, uh, Serbia adopted a systematic law on asylum and temporary protection that was last year, and the legislative framework on migration uh, and the right to asylum also includes the adopted Foreign Foreigners Act and the Border Control Act. Um, also, I would like to emphasize that this, the Asylum Act uh, from 2007 was in line with the Geneva Convention, the additional protocols, and partly in line with the EU directives uh, in, um, in force at that time. Uh, but the 2015 crisis showed that many provisions uh, were not clearly defined, which has led to the absurd situation of securing um, freedom of transit and the treatment of people that did not have a foothold, uh, foothold in the applicable, uh, applicable uh, regulations um, in the uh, legal framework of uh, Serbia. So, uh, the Ministry of the Interior and the Commissariat for Refugees and Migration were recognized by this law as key institutions, institutions for exercising the rights of asylum seekers by having the Ministry in charge for conducting the procedure and determining status and Commissariat for providing accommodation, uh, then uh, basic living conditions, uh, uh, integration process, uh, etc., uh, for persons who had been granted the, the, the asylum status. Uh, the main drawback of the procedure envisaged uh, is the difference between the large number of expressed um, uh, expressed intentions to seek asylum and the actual number of applications submitted. The reason is that only uh, through the expressed intention uh, were the migrants able to secure a legal status and legal stay in the territory of the Republic of Serbia solely by expressing their intention until the opportunity to continue their journey and reach uh, some European country like Germany. Also, uh, the recording procedure was not precisely defined, uh, not where the rights and obligations of uh, foreigners, nor was there a defined sanctions for persons in proceedings uh, who acted contrary to the provisions uh, of the law. Uh, so, um, Therefore, it can be concluded that in addition to the requirement for harmonizing of norms with European standards, the main reason 
uh, for adopting the new legal framework was the, uh, that most of the institutes and solutions needed to overcome the refugee crisis were, were not foreseen uh, on clearly uh, or clearly defined. Uh, so the new law, uh, law initially defines uh, terms such as asylum, asylum proceedings, foreigner, asylum seeker, refugee, subsidiary, protection, country of origin, as well as unaccompanied uh, minors or minors separated from, from their parents. Uh, so, uh, the new law makes a clear distinction between the two concepts of protection. A refugee bring, uh, being provided to a... Um, uh, as a special status, uh, and uh, it means that a uh, refugee is a person who is found by competent authority to responsible fear uh, prosecution in the country of origin or country of habitual residence, as well as subsidiary protection as a um, second concept of protection granted to a person who has not suffered direction prosecution, but who in the event of his return to the country of origin would be exposed to serious uh, injustice and who cannot or who does not wish to uh, be placed under the protection of that uh, state because of such danger. Uh, also of particular importance uh, is the institute of temporary protection that the government may grant uh, in the event of a mass uh, influx of uh, displayed persons, uh, as well as the possibility that the government of the Republic of Serbia may take a decision in the case of mass influx uh, of persons who, who express their intention to seek asylum to engage officers of other organizational units or other state bodies in the process of conducting hearings in order to increase the efficiency of the asylum procedure and in that way uh, overcome uh, the administration and bureaucracy um, indifference. So this ensures that the state acts in a timely manner in the event of uh, repetition of the events of 2015 and provides a more human approach to people who have been spontaneously, spontaneously displayed. Um, also, um, I would uh, say that the new uh, law removes key shortcomings of the earlier legislative framework regarding the registration procedure and forum, forum, uh, formal asylum um, applications. Uh, and foreigner shall not be punished for unlawful entry of, or, or stay in the Republic of Serbia if he expresses without delay uh, intention to apply for asylum and for provide uh, provides a valid justification for, for his or her illegally entry or, or stay. In, that, uh, in this way, the legal uh, vacuum between the moment of expressing the intention and the form, uh, formal feeling the application is avoided, uh, since an asylum application can be submitted only after the foreigner's accommodation in one of the asylum centers. Also, the asylum procedure begins by submitting a formal asylum application to an authorized um, officer of the asylum office in the prescribed form no later than uh, 15 days from the date of registration, and um, uh, the applicant is legally protected. Why? Because if the authorized officer of the office does not allow him to submit the application, uh, the applicant may do so by uh, completing the form uh, within eight days from the expiration of the original uh, deadline. So uh, with or without a um, concrete answer of the office for asylum, uh, the applicant has opportunity uh, to uh, demand and to submit um, an asylum application. Uh, for the first time, new institutes, uh, institutes uh, have been introduced uh, into the legislative framework for asylum seekers, like surplus principle, the concept of safe country of origin, uh, the possibility of voluntarily return uh, to the country or, or, of origin, uh, etc. Uh, so, UNHCR assessed the adopted law on asylum and provisional protection presents a considerable 
progress compared to earlier legal solutions, especially regarding to the, regarding the introduction of provisions ensuring gender sensitive asylum procedure as well as introducing gender, gender identity and gender based violence in the uh, definition of uh, refugees. However, in spite of remarkable uh, progress uh, in the field of uh, legislation, an important opportunity has been missed for a complete harmonization um, with the action plan and civil society recommendations uh, regarding the right to citizenship. Why? According to the Convention of the Status of Refugees, Serbia has the obligation uh, to grant citizenship to persons who have been granted the status of refugees through naturalization. Uh, however, although the refugees have been granted shelter through the right of residence and protection, it has not been defined uh, whether this right refers to permanent residence. So according to the existing uh, legal framework, the right of residence for persons with the status of refugees is defined as the right to temporary residence. Uh, and which is not uh, counted as the time necessary uh, to obtain permanent residence. Uh, so on the other hand, it's possible to obtain the right uh, to citizenship exclusively upon permission for permanent residence, and which in practice means that person uh, with the status of refugees who have been granted asylum cannot become a part of Serbian society and be become citizens of Serbia in the future and uh, achieve naturalization uh, in, in that way. Um, as of 2008 and establishing of the national asylum system until November 2018, the Office for Refugees granted 54 shelters and 74 uh, subsidiary protections. It's obvious, especially after the migrant crisis, that there is a clear discrepancy between the number of persons uh, who have expressed the intention to seek asylum and those who have submitted a formal request and have been granted asylum and subsidiary protection in the Republic of Serbia. So we could see uh, the number of people who have expressed their intention to seek asylum and we could see asylum uh, office statistics for the uh, first half of the year. Uh, just uh, 14 person with subsidiary protection and um, uh, 13 uh, persons uh, asylum granted. Uh, so, the reasons for such an outcome is not a restrictive asylum uh, policy, but the migrants' genuine intention uh, that the asylum centers uh, be merely um, a stopover on the way uh, to their desired uh, destination uh, in uh, Western Europe. Also in October 2015, at the summit in Brussels dedicated to the migrant crisis, the then Prime Minister of Serbia said, we will accept the quota and we are prepared to bear our part of the burden. Uh, but uh, with that message, the prospect of Serbia changing its status from a country of transit to a final destination for several thousands uh, asylum seekers was uh, publicly announced. Uh, to what extent would, um, under such conditions, Serbia be a more desirable uh, destination for long-term stay of a certain number of migrants and possibly participate? Uh, in the system of distribution according to quotas uh, depends uh, uh, on a number of circumstances. Serbia's aspiration to become a full-fledged um, member of the European Union in addition to legislative adoption was um, followed by a political commitment to the European values of sharing the burden of the migrant crisis. But however, Serbia has very limited resources for the actual integration of refugees in the system and into society. Although the accommodation capacities significantly exceed the current number of asylum seekers, a host country's long-term commitment is to provide a better and more human uh, living environment than, uh, than asylum centers, as well as real opportunities for employment uh, uh, in the, in the uh, labor market. Uh, prior to the 
Do I have more time? Sorry, I will conclude. Prior to the outbreak of the migrant crisis, Serbia was the first European and the 14th country in the world in the number of refugees and uh, uh, permanently displaced uh, persons. It is therefore not surprise, uh, surprising that it has not yet managed to find a long-term and comprehensive solution for people affected by conflicts during the breakup of Yugoslavia. Just uh, to uh, compare the data. Serbia has about 22,000 householders or um, 97,000 internally displaced uh, persons in need. Unemployment in this group of people in need is about 40%, while the majority survive on an income lower than 200 euros per month. The main problem is housing, with 94% of all internally displaced persons in need having emphasized this problem. Uh, moreover, in addition to the concern about the care for refugees and displaced persons as well as migrants from the Middle East based on readmission agreements uh, in the EU accession process. So um, uh, the Balkan countries have committed themselves uh, to the readmission of their own citizens who do not fulfill the conditions of permanent residence in the territory of European Union. And uh, it's a process parallel with the migrants and uh, asylum seekers uh, and internally displaced uh, also uh, persons and refugees from the breakup of, of Yugoslavia. So um, where thousands of their own citizens return as economic migrants uh, in, in Serbia. Um, all to Serbia had a pronounced pro-migrant attitude after the formal and coordinated closer to a closer of the Balkan route there has been a certain degree of sec uh, securitization of the migrant issue. There were statements in the public sp uh, sphere that showed a xenophobic uh, tone and emphasized the negative consequences of the long-term presence of uh, refugees, migrants and uh, asylum seekers. Um, also, the petitions of the local population to move away camps uh, and asylum centers from Sheed and Subotica. But however, this did not uh, obstruct the process of integration of migrants in, into the society, and it turned out um, that the enrollment of children in, in schools uh, has given the most positive effect uh, and uh, in bringing the migrant families and the local uh, population uh, closer. And in the end, uh, despite dilemmas about integration capacities, uh, the new legal framework shows an attempt to provide a better condition for asylum seekers uh, in a case of a new unexpected uh, influx of migrants. Also, Serbia officially offered to participate in burden sharing and uh, distribution of responsibility with the EU members. Objective parameters uh, Parameters indicate very modest um, capacities for full-scale uh, social integration of larger number of refugees, um, um, and uh, although there have been some very positive instances of asylum seekers' excellent adoption to the Balkan social environment. Um, Despite inclusive legislation, a key obstacle uh, is still the labor market uh, and the limited possibility to uh, earning a decent living. But uh, should Serbia in the near future become um, a more developed country uh, or a full-fledged uh, member of the European Union and in case the migrant waves from various parts of the world uh, reach once again the old continent, the option of Serbia being offered country destination option uh, one day cannot be excluded. Thank you. That will be all.